every minute, of every hour, of every day. Lovely. A baby is born in Britain. Bloody hell. Come on! Everyone simmer down just a little bit. We put 40 cameras into a bustling maternity hospital. Back the other way. Here comes the head. Keep pushing. Good girl. Oh, stop. From the front desk. Maybe walk on morning nights, speaking. To the operating theatre. Hello. From the birthing pool. <laughs> to neonatal. <laughs> Capturing new lives beginning. <laughs> and others changing forever. Oh, I've just had a baby. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah, but I mean, if you have any wiser concerns, just give us another ring, won't you? Okay. Oh, right, just, just get yourself in here, then. Okay. Well, I've been contracting all day. Just baby? No, Seth. He said I thought it was Braxton Hicks, and every time she went to speak to me, she went, Wah! I thought, so I said, just put the phone down and get in. Moment, Suzanne. How often are the contractions now? Around every three to two minutes. Oh, part. okay, good. So quite close. Yeah. <laughs> My dad um, just basically sat there and turned around, said so he's too young to be a granddad. <laughs> My mum, I suspect she already knew before I even told her. Um, but they've all both come round to it now, so. Which is good. Oh, really? <laughs> Body's shaking. Oh, oh bless you, that's very normal. It's just all your hormones whizzing oh. around your body. Your body's going, oh, my Think about it this way, sweetie. It's a very painful adrenaline rush. Yeah. You've got yeah. contraction now? Yeah. Yeah. OK, sweetie. Oh, man, sweetie. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Good. Mm. They're good for me, not for you. <laughs> I phoned my parents up and uh, said, oh, I've got something to tell you, and... They assumed sort of I'd done something or something had happened, and I told them, and they immediately went, "We're gonna have to phone you back." They hung up the phone, and they phoned me back about four or five hours later, and said, "Right, start again." <laughs> <laughs> I do find it though that a lot of midwives yeah. nowadays haven't sort of gone through the childbirth. Not yeah, every yeah, not every midwife has. I haven't. Do you ever fail? <laughs> Oh, yeah, in one day, but not quite yet. Not quite yet. <laughs> I think we were that <laughs> idea, but hey, yeah. things do happen. <laughs> things do change, don't they? Not only are you sort of getting to know them, then actually they're getting to know you, they're getting to know what you're like, they're mm. getting to trust you, they're building up a, you know, an idea of actually, can we just be frank with this midwife and tell her exactly what we want? You look so scared. You're all right. <laughs> you're doing really well, honestly. You're breathing through them great. Hey, I'm here. Okay. Oh, I'm going off now. Yeah. I'm going nowhere, am I? Well, you're about sort of one to two centimetres. <laughs> so it's up to you what you want to do from here. If you want to stay here with us, that's fine. But there isn't really an awful lot that we can do for you here that you couldn't do at home yourself. Have a little chat between you, all right? I'll pop out and give you a bit of privacy, and then you can tell me what you'd prefer to do. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so your waters went on the 17th, is that right? Yeah. And what time was that? About 4.30. Is that in the afternoon or morning? morning. In the morning, yeah. okay. Yeah. And has baby been moving around plenty yeah. all the time? Yeah. So when did your contractions actually start? Would you like a logbook? <gasps> Why, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about any other women, but I was forever checking and, and looking for signs of, oh, maybe I'm pregnant because I've got an itchy chin or <laughs> <laughs> silly, stupid yeah. things. And so, and well, he turned me off told doing her off too many because tests. Because she was getting through like a pregnancy test like every day. She yeah. was doing another one, then another one. Yeah. 
So your contractions have started today. Yeah. Yeah, it sort of built up slowly during the day. It got to it was sort of very irregular. Yeah. Um, and then it started getting more regular at about six, seven o'clock. Yeah. yeah. About six, seven o'clock this evening. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday evening, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, yesterday yeah. now, isn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> We've moved on the day now. Lots of babies are born at night, mm. early hours of the morning. I sneaked into the toilet and I hid it up my pyjama sleeve. <laughs> and I did it. And then I, stood, I did it in the toilet and I was like, oh my God, it's actually happened. <laughs> and he was concentrating on an invoice in his office and I just crept in and put it in front of his eyes. <laughs> and then Johnny looked at me in with a big smile. <laughs> the same smile you had when we got the house. Yeah. And you bought your sports car. <laughs> yeah. That's it. And then blow out for me. Okay. Feels quite low. She won't get stuck, will she? She's she's going in the direction she needs to go anyway. Yeah. Okay. I thought the water's not coming out properly meant that she was too jammed in there. I, I just I just don't know what I'm going to be like. It's so difficult to try and judge. It's it's scary because you're going into the unknown and also the unexpected of being a new mum and. But also, it's the pain threshold. I'd like to think that if I stay focused, mind over matter, I can try and combat most of the pain and stay in control. And because it does make a difference if you're really anxious. You know, did you ha did you have a birth plan yeah, set I did, out? I did want to have a water birth and gas in there. Okay. Possibly epidural. Okay. Well, I'm just going to let the doctors know about you. I think I might just get somebody just to come in and have a look at the trace because of the, the high baseline rate, OK, of the baby's heart. Is that all right? Do you want me to put this bed up a bit higher for you? No, Are you sure? Yeah. OK. Yeah. I'm hoping I can do the water birth, but who knows? I'll pack my swimsuit just in case. <laughs> baseline on the CTG, which I put her on the CTG just to check baby, is quite high. It's between 155 and 160. And it's kind of, you can just see it rising. They need to re-examine me in about another four hours. It's like two in the morning. Can't see your parents bringing me back at two. Do you, do you live with your mum? Yeah, I've moved Do back with, to... Yeah. Oh, right. I'm okay. back to my parents. Sweetie, we haven't got any food, at least if we go home. Yeah. We can get some food. Yeah. How about it? I can't say I'd ever a thought I'd ever have the money to raise a child. We're used to sort of being quite <laughs> down in money, but mostly I would rather see them to eat them myself anyway. It was when we were quite stuck with money before, it was I'd rather Susie eat and me have like a piece of toast or something, her to a proper meal than anything else. So, are you swinging towards home at the moment? Yeah, I might well. I'll try to get a response out of one of them. Suze. So do you not drive? No. So your dad is going to come pick you up? Yeah. I don't see the point in driving if you can't afford to. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way you can't get with a push bike, so. Oh, it's good to do. Gem on you. Uh, when I, we found out that I was pregnant, we were um, sofa surfing, basically just going from friend to friend. Then um, we were offered a room which was better than sofa surfing, especially as I was getting heavier in pregnancy. So we took the room and came back to Southampton Way. Because we were moving around quite a lot, we needed something that you could put on a bike, because that's all we got around on. So we found that on um, eBay, actually. It's a luggage trailer. Yeah, it's technically meant for luggage. But... Well, you are luggage. <sighs> In a sense, I apologise, in a sense. Luggage. I'm going to have to text Laura saying that we'll probably need a lift early morning tomorrow because my parents, I don't think, are best impressed. Sweetie. OK? Let's go. 
No, no, but I know it's, no, I'm saying because they're tired, that's so. all. What's she gonna sit in the thing all the way down? Yeah, if you don't mind. That hissing noise is working, okay? So this is where you keep that. Mm -hmm. The partner has such an unenviable job. He has he, she is there and they see their loved one in this pain and this agony and they don't know what to do. And they try and help out and what's good one minute isn't good another. Mm -hmm. And it, it's such an awful place to be. They're like little lost sheep. <laughs> It's so sad for them that, you know, it's great that they're there and they're supportive, but they kind of also feel a bit like, I don't know what to do, I don't know how to help. I'm not going to say I understand what you're going through. Because I know for a fact that I have no idea the pain you're having. All I suggest is just close your eyes during them. OK? All right. Six o'clock in the morning, I'm shattered. I know you are too sweet. But mine's will stay here again. <laughs> I nod off and you want something, tug me, okay? <laughs> in five is Rosie. She ruptured her membranes at 4.30 on the 17th, so that's over 48 hours now. And she was booked to come in this morning for induction, but she started contracting last night. And on the first B at four o'clock, she was three centimetres dilated. How long have you been labouring for? Since... Water's broke Thursday yeah. night. Well, this week. Friday, 4.30 in the morning it was. Yes, yeah. that's right. You've had enough. Yeah, she has. she's tired. She's <laughs> tired. Okay. Right then, have your legs gone funny or dead? No. Any strange sensations around your face or your mouth? No. We quite like Polly as a name. I did say Tinkerbell, but... No, we're not having that. <laughs> no. Obviously, I wouldn't call her Tinkerbell because that would be cruel. But I Ro like fairies. <laughs> Rosie still wants Bluebell as a middle name, but I'm I not, like Bluebell. Not set on that one. No. Really. <laughs> I'll convince him later. I like beer, but we're not going to call her beer, are we? <laughs> no, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Rosie. Hello. 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 You've got so much waters. <laughs> so much. There's loads. <laughs> yeah, they just keep coming out. Is your baby's gang? <laughs> What's that? coming out? What's that? I'm just going to have a feel around here. Is that going up? No. no it's kind of not making its mind up. It's going up and up, up and, and down. down. A bit dizzy, really. Yes, yeah, like me. I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> 
decelerations are when we're monitoring a baby's heart rate um, and the baby's heart rate will, goes down. Can you feel that? Can you push on that for me? You know, sometimes that worries us and it's the baby's head basically normally being compressed and it could be the baby's not coping. Okay. Rosie, mm. what I want you to do now is nothing. Okay. I want you to go to sleep. Yeah, that would be nice. For an hour before you go to sleep, I want to talk to you about how to push because it's really important that you understand yeah. what I'm saying because yeah. otherwise we're not we're not going to be effective when we're going to theatre. Really feel what you're doing. No, okay. Yeah. She's been pushing for an hour okay. and she's, you know, yeah. to be honest, it feels like she's she's trying because, you know, a couple of good things are happening, but there isn't any more progress. I don't think that it's moving down. I've just got a feeling that it's back to back as well, so, and maybe some manual rotation. For them, my mouse. Yes, oh, please. Yes, please. Oh, this man. Oh, my wife's laboured quite quickly and she's feeling pushy. I was like, well, don't go anywhere. Stay where you are. And we'll try and get somebody to send her out to you. So, what did they do? Get in the car. Got as far as some travel lodge somewhere or some ridiculous. Mm. She had the baby in the car back there. Yeah. What the hell? I know. Did I tell you about that phone quiet tonight when not long after a report? I answered the phone and this man said to me, um, oh, I'm just wanting to inquire how much it would be to have my photograph taken. Thank you again. Okay, don't be scared. You're in the right place. Take yeah, some slow, deep breaths for me. In and out. We've known each other for years. Me and David has. Well, I've known him since I was 30, and I met him just generally in a youth club. Got to know each other, played a little bit hardball with him. <laughs> Hard to get, led him on for about a year and a half before I decided to be with David. <laughs> yeah. And made it very difficult for him at the beginning. Yes, punished me. Punished him quite bad. I didn't even get a chance to shave my legs. Oh dear. <laughs> I never shave my legs. Right, so is that okay, my love? If I just have a little feel of your tummy. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then we'll get this monitor on just to see what you're up to with this little one. You get a chair and just sit there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do more aid than if you're going to keep standing up. <laughs> What are you going to call him? David. David. Bubby David. Baby David. Baby David. So there's an 11 year gap between this Bubby when he pops up and the next one up. We're more mature now. Yeah. And we've learnt from the other four. Yeah. I do think, you know, having four kids and all boys as well. All boys as well. So we've got another little boy coming now. No girls. You can't, you can't produce girls. As they say, you've got to be a man to produce a girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's what uh, they say, don't they? <laughs> I did say she tortured me occasionally, didn't I? Sorry. Right. <laughs> I'm just sick of emotional wreck. Rainbow labour, Tom. I'm a wreck. Oh, is that a wreck? Oh, cheesy poof. Cheesy poof. Louisa Sexton in 12. Oh, yes. Burley. I saw her this morning. Did I yeah. send her home? You did. <laughs> <laughs> she had her forceps the first time round, an elective section the second time round, a normal delivery the third time round, a section the fourth time, and this time round she's going to have a nice normal delivery. <sighs> Done. Louisa, how are you feeling with that pressure? Is it intensifying down below? 
It is. Okay. I think what I do, the last couple of contract, sort of contractions, your, your little one's heartbeat just drops just a tiny little bit. And that sometimes can be an indication that things are starting to move on. And obviously little one's head's moving further down um, the pelvis. So are you okay if I give you just a little examination and we'll see where we are? Yeah, I will know where he is. Okay. <laughs> I think we kind of knew I was going to be a breeding machine. I think when... As of me growing up, it was just me, my sister and my dad growing up with. And, you know, I suppose it was quite empty in the household. But I just loved the feeling of, you know, all the hassle and the bustle. And when the kids get home from school, or, you know, it's just, you're never not bored. It's all done. Part right, you're about seven centimetres. You're kidding me. No. <laughs> I think you'll probably just crack on and do this yourself, my love. <gasps> Seven centimetres. Oh, I thought they was going to say about two. Two, three, go away and come back later. Oh, my God. I'm so fucking surprised. Um, Susie's after her mum. I was wondering, even though I was adopted, I couldn't have wished for anything better. They've provided for me enough. They've taught me lessons, trying to make sure that I work for things and not just expect them. I must admit, I was a real pain when I was younger, and as I got older, I got worse at the 16 mark, which was bad, but they always have stuck by me and they're always going to be there. Right, um, Susie wants you uh, here at the hospital. Does that be OK? I think all you really need to be a good family is two people that love each other and to pass their love on to the child and make sure they're aware that they're going to be there, both of them. will hurt. It's not going to stop hurting at the moment unless we do something with the pain relief. Mm. But if you care, if you're coping fine like that, then that's great. Okay. You let me know if you want to do something different. All right. I might hope for the epidural. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's try and rest. Close your eyes. Just try and rest. You've not got any pain. Quite hard, is that all right with you? Yeah. You're fairly young, aren't you? <laughs> Four or five weeks after we, okay, me and Johnny got together, my dad passed away, so we were kind of thrown. It would either make a couple or break a couple, and I think it brought us really close together, mm -hmm. and he was like a rock for me. One life can end and, and then a new life begins. And it does make you think that's just the way of life and it makes you get on with things, but it also, it's really sad because the baby won't get to sort of meet her, her granddad. Okay. So, what's going on? Because I think that you know, um, you know, your baby is the wrong way round. Right. Okay, so what we call OP position. Um, so I don't think that I can just deliver your baby in the room. Yeah. And I think what we need to do too is something called a trial of instrumental delivery in the theatre. Okay. And trying to turn the baby round. Yeah. In the first instance, that would be trying to turn the baby round with a hand. Um, if that doesn't work, um, I don't know if the senior registrar here does rotational forceps or not, so that's another option. Yeah. I, some people do manage to push out babies the wrong way round, so it's not what completely... Way is she, that is she back sense. to back then? Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's exactly what she's doing. So some people do manage to push babies out like that, but it's just less common. And yeah. I think the likelihood of you achieving that at this stage um, is lower. Yeah. Okay. So I think we should um, think about delivering babies. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get you some clothes, some sexy clothes. Thanks. I'm presuming you want to you want to come in. Yep. And see what's what. <laughs> I 
personally think it's really important that regardless of what is happening in the room, especially if it's something like you're worried about a baby, um, that you are as calm as possible because I think often what will happen is if if you panic, the family will be more panicked. Definitely. And what you don't want is people coming up to you going, please tell me what's going on, please yeah. tell me what's going on. You want to say in calm, clear, concise words, we're a little concerned, this is what we're going to do. This, this makes it easy to organise. If um, they can't get the baby out, then they'll go for a caesarean section. Yeah. That might happen sort of in a nice, calm manner, or it might happen a bit more urgently if they can get to the stop or show signs. Having some family that have lost um, babies and, and friends as well, it, it, does, it doesn't always go straight forward, and you have to count every day as a good one until you get hit with something bad. Some babies don't survive, I suppose, and so it does, it, you keep it at the back of your head, but you can't dwell on it or overthink about it, otherwise you'd be a wreck, but it does cross your mind, you know, what if, you know, we've got all of this stuff and we don't come home with a baby, it's, but I try not to think about that. Day to day. Just turning the baby's head around and see if we can make it face downwards and then move The baby at the moment doesn't want to move, going one way. Just relax, get a nice deep breath. You're doing really well. You are. So far, your baby doesn't want to play the game. <laughs> Turn around, unfortunately. Have you got a name already? Yeah. So it better be a girl up white that person who did the scan in serious trouble. <laughs> we got a lot of money's worth of clothes. Give <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it a good push down. Come on, big breath. Right. And then push down at your bottom. Push. Push right down like you're going to In a way, it's the start of a new chapter in her life. It's a fresh beginning. Having lost her father, it's she's had quite a bit of sadness over the last few years. And this is a complete new beginning for Rosie and Johnny and um, for the rest of the family as well. New little life. Did you understand what's going on at the moment? You, you can't turn the baby with our hands, so now we're going to um, try turning the baby with the forceps, OK? So that's what um, the well, deer is just going to do. Mm -hmm. um, because the baby's low enough now, you're all right. We're going to try and deliver the She's baby very uncomfortable. with the forceps. Big, big, big push. Keep pushing, 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 keep pushing. Okay, slowly now. Relax, relax. Very slowly. I don't think anybody can really know what they're in for. It's you can have sort of an idea from friends and things, but when you're actually there doing it, it's it is different. But there's so much love between them that. That will keep them going, I'm sure. Help! In your bum, right down at your bottom. Deep breath and push at your bottom. Rapid push, go on, Rosie. Keep pushing. Pediatric doctor there. What they do is they rub her up. Yes. All right. See your heartbeat. You can see her legs. You look over your shoulder. You can see her legs poking through there. You see them? That's See her? Yeah. Well done. You've been real star. Just catch your breath now. She's, she's pretty 
pretty good actually. <laughs> you go for it, girl. Wow. Oh, bloody. <laughs> It's quite daunting, but then you do have nine months to prepare, but it goes so quickly. I don't know what mum I'm going to make. I think I'll have to adapt a lot with routines, but I'd like to hope that I keep the same outlook. Probably won't have much time to do my hair or nails, but that's fine. It's alright. <laughs> Be careful, they've been in my bag for two nights. Is that one gone? It's okay. It looks a bit easy. Yep. What do you understand the next jewel is? It's an easel that goes in to the back of your spine. Yep. Yeah. Ah. If it works ideally, you should still feel the contractions. It just shouldn't hurt. So when you're going to get your contraction, rather than having to stop talking as you are now, it should be a case of, oh, I'm having a contraction. Did you see what happened in any standards last night? I had always wanted children in the future. Not as early, I must admit. Um, would have rather had a bit more of a financial stable scent, but... Chin on your chest for me. Do you want me to hold your gas now? I was quite shocked, but I was really happy that I'd, I'm having the opportunity to become a father. It's weird, but it's a nice feeling. It stings a bit. It's a bit like a bee sting. I think it's probably a little bit worse. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can. You can. You can. You can. Breathe. You can. Breathe. Oh, 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 You quite often find a woman will be begging for an epidural. You get them sat on the side of the bed for the epidural to be cited, and they'll make a very distinctive grunt or a groan, which we all tune into, and it's like, okay, hold it there. And at that stage, you change a woman around, have a look, and the head's coming down. <laughs> you will take the pain away. So we try and encourage the woman to breathe through. There's no point in having an epidural at this stage because you're nearly there. So a bit more encouragement, hopefully, to keep them going. It's so painful, I can't do it anymore. Please, it hurts so bad. Honestly, you're, you're, you're so close. You are so close. We've got to think of ways that we can help you because it's too late for any pethidin or anything like that. Because your baby's just sitting there. Baby's just sitting there. By the time he got it in, we'd have a baby. I know. <laughs> this is great. Long day. It's the first time I've ever been in a hospital. Is it? Yep. Oh, scary, isn't it? Mm. Is it alright? Scary. Scary. Painful. There's labour. Yeah, well, but hey. A nice result at the end of it. It's what you got to think about. I'll meet you in the treatment room. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> oh, you've actually got your baby in your arms. You wait for a couple of weeks down the line. Give it six weeks. <laughs> I'm banned for six weeks. You're banned until I get back on well, the Well, until you get... I wouldn't Good go with girl. the pill this time. No, the peel kind of failed. Yeah, the there's pill. lots of other methods. Yes, there's the there? injection, the implant, the coil. Um, I think that's about all I can remember. Anything mm -hmm. else? Whatever. Condoms? Well, obviously. Yeah, they split. <laughs> it's funny how it's always down to us women, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, you're ready to have your baby. You're fully dilated. Oh, God. All right, so when you get that contraction. Oh, good. Absolutely. 
<laughs> okay, right, hold on to your legs for me. Just hold on to these legs. No more puffing on that gas in there. Bring that chin to your chest. No, you need to push into... I had 11 months between my two youngest, and I thought it would be the easiest thing, having my third baby, exactly the same as my other two. So there's no rhyme or reason. You don't, The muscles still go back really quickly, and you still have to really work at having subsequent babies, so it doesn't get easier. Go on, keep going, keep going. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Come on, darling. You can do this, Louisa. Go on. Fantastic. Well, well done. done. Nothing's happening. It is happening, Louisa. <laughs> He's just sitting down here now, waiting to come out. Every time you push, it's stretching a bit more. He's not getting around that corner. He will do. He's coming around the corner. If he was around the corner, he'd be popping out. And there's a time and a place to open your mouth, and there's a time to keep it quiet. When your other half's trying to push something out, that's the time to keep your mouth shut. Especially when they've got no epidural and they're already on gas and air. I know it's painful it's now because he's coming round. Now you're going to feel all that stretching and stinging. Fuck off. <laughs> well done. Well done. Here we go. Right. Pull on those legs. <laughs> we ready? Yeah. We're ready. We're, We're ready. ready. Yeah. Go on, girl. Go on. Well done. Well done. That's it. That's it. Well done. Come on. Look at that. Go ahead. Well done. Head at ten past ten. Well done. His head's out. Yes. Well done, Louisa. Put your hand down and feel his head if you want to. Oh, I'm scared. That's all right, go on. No? All right, then. It's like half a shot. We can see his face, and here okay. comes the rest of him. Just relax. That's it. Oh, and he's not. Oh, 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 It's just this tiny little person, isn't it? You know, this tiny little human being there, you know, and, and, and his whole life is set out for him already. It's all mapped out there for him, you know, what his future's going to be. I, d I just can't explain it. Oh, you little sweetheart. David is baby, baby. That's baby, 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 and then I saw his little blue eyes and that just completely made me up all together because all of them have got brown eyes, you know, and I've not had a blue boy yet, so I've got my little blue eyed boy now. <laughs> stage of labour. I'm going for a fair once he's out. You can look after him. That's fine. I don't mind, really. You won't be able to. No. You won't have any legs. <laughs> for wheelchairs, for <laughs> OK. When baby's born, mm -hmm. baby coming up onto your chest? Yes. Are you cutting the cord, Colin? Uh, that would be up to her. You can cut it if you want. Yeah, I'll cut the cord then. <sighs> I think the mistakes in my life have actually helped me to progress the maturity a bit quicker, as well as Daniel becoming part of the equation. Now my motivation is to find work, because I'd rather go out and work and now you think, right, I've come home, I've done a nice day to work. OK, it was boring, but I'm earning money and that's what's best for all of us. Well, you're fully dilated. Fully? Mm-hmm. Your baby is right at the end. I think he's away. Well done, you. Clever girl. That means you're going to do it on my shift. Good girl. All right, I'm just trying to see if he's got any hair. Has he got hair? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got a little bit of air. Oh, did you want me to lick? Not you. Can you see him moving? Yeah. I can see him moving. I don't, think, I don't know if you'll wait the hour. No, he's ready. Gorgeous. Aren't you? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I do love being a mum. Best thing I ever did, over those kids. I've always wanted a big family. I originally wanted six kids. I do think to myself, maybe in five years. But no, they would keep saying no. <laughs> No, I think baby David is probably the last one for us. Odds are, the next one would be a boy as well. You could just see that coming. If we had another one after that, it would probably be a boy again. So, no, I think baby David's the last one. Say hello, mummy. It's, it's an odd number. It's got to be even. You've got to have it even. If you have three, you've got to have four. If you have five, you've got to have six. It's got to be even. How long did it take to squeeze your head out then? Quite old. So I'm going to be pushing baby out for a couple of hours. You got that? You just got to go that now. <laughs> I'm going to ban you from here in a minute if you keep upsetting her. Give <laughs> the truth. <laughs> doing really well, Susie. She's doing it quite natural. Yeah. Mm. Especially if she can't feel what she's doing. It's brilliant. And the first one as well. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so those just sat there. We've still got to get him around the bend. Mm. Oh, yeah, the, uh, okay, so the, the, the <laughs> pelvis, base, uh. where the pelvis is angled down into the canal. Mm. Of the, uh, yeah. Yeah, you're, I'm with you. We should have another one coming. Three. We've got another one on the way. Go on then. Push, 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 push. Come on. Sweet. That's it. Now keep it there. Keep it there. Go on, push, 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 push. I was thinking you would run personally, but I, I can't honestly say that. It didn't cross your mind. Well, no, it's not the running part that crossed my mind. I just thought about the relationship deteriorating, obviously, at such an early stage, but it's all proved wrong, really, which is nice, I must admit. If you were to put your hand down, you'd feel his head. Do you want to do that? That's it. That's your baby. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I've been quite lucky with receiving help off my parents, even when I was in my sort of pain in the arse days. <laughs> they were still always behind me. I'm just hoping I can be the same. Just always be there and give a hand. Push him out to me. Come on. Push, 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 Come on, push, push. Come on sweetheart. Push. You're doing so lovely. Go on, that's lovely. Stop, 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 stop. 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 Little breath, little breath, little breath. Breathe, breathe. Okay. Give me a little push. Little push, sweetheart. Little push. Little push. Come on, my darling. Little push. Just have his nose and his eyes. Go on, just a bit more. Little push. Brilliant. And again. Got him caught on his nose. And his nose. Good girl. Head out at 20 past. Oh, bless you. Push, 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 push. Push. Good girl. Go on, and again. And again. Good girl. Come on, sweetie. Oh, oh, come on. Push. Push. Oh, 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 push. Oh, push. Oh, okay, we are out. It was like nothing I'd felt before. I was happy. I couldn't stop crying, but um, I, I wouldn't. I don't think I could ever find a feeling that beats how I felt then. 
and I don't think I could physically put a child of my own up for adoption. I couldn't even start to think about the emotion of what it felt like. I know where my birth mother is, but I'm not ready to meet her just yet. Hello, I'd rather do it when I'm a bit more stable with our family before going to see my birth family. It is the best feeling that I've ever experienced. Weird one, but yeah. I had about, I must have had about six emotions going through me at once. It's confusing. But um, the highest emotion was probably happy and joy that he was actually here. And the reason he's got yellow nails is because we smoke. Oh. Oh, you've got a massive bulge. <laughs> That's misleading, isn't it, Nando? Yeah, yeah. Behave yourselves. I think we go well together because we go... Yeah, I'm immature. She, Sarah's immature. Oh, I can't believe it. Triplets. Mothers aren't really designed to carry three babies at once, and there's a high rate of complications in triplet pregnancies. You get that news and you think, OK, he could die. If you can't wait till next week, there's a wealth of exclusive birth videos and much more at channel4.com slash oneborn.com.